Hello there. This is Martin, aka Holly, from the or Hewlett, if you want, from the Danish Monster Hunter community, MonsterHunter.dk. I am gonna show you how to transfer your Monster Hunter saves from the PSP to the Vita. Now you're gonna need a PC for this, and the first thing you do is go online, and then you download the program Media Go. Um, this is a free program by Sony. Once you've downloaded it, you start the program up and then you connect your PSP via USB cable to your PC. Then you go into USB connection. There it goes. And the MediaGo program will tell you that it's found a PSP. So I'm gonna go into games. Here's a list of all your games. In the top corner we have save data, which I've already pressed. And then we go down, go down, go down, until you find Monster Hunter. There it is, game data. Um, now you see a little ticked thingy here means that I've already transferred this but you right click and then you press add to library it syncs and now you want to find your game which is now on your PC on my computer it's in documents media go PSP game saves and there it is now you want to copy this and put it into another program. The other program you need is, let's find it, um, Content Manager. This is also a free program by Sony for your Vita. Just Google it and you'll find it. You install this on your computer and it will create a folder in Documents again. Now just copy this and go back. It's called PS Vita. There you have a PS save data. You want to press this. Go in there and just copy your save game to this one. Paste. Oh, yeah. No, I don't want to. Oh, right. Okay, so now we want to transfer it to your Vita. Make sure that you've opened your Media Go. Should be down in the corner if you've got Windows 7. I don't know on Mac, but the program is also on Mac. So now we go back to the Vita, and we want to find the Content Manager. Start up, please. Okay, you want to transfer from PC to Vita. You want to transfer an application and a save data. Here's your Monster Hunter Freedom Save from your PC. Ticket, and press copy. So that's that. Want to copy it? Yes, I do. Want to write? Yeah, sure. Okay. And there you have it. You're now good to go. I've got a, about a 300 hour save file, so I don't want to start again. So it's nice that you can transfer this one. Just going to boot the game. See if it works. Go back, go back. Close this. Monster Hunter, boot. Okay, so um, in case you're wondering, these two machines do work together. So if you've got Monster Hunter on the uh, PSP, you can play with your Vita, which is pretty nice. It also means that the ad hoc gaming is working. So if you've got a PS3, you can play via ad hoc, which is nice. Go Sony. Okay, so. No install, I know. I'll fix it. Now I'm also going to show you a little bit of Vita optimization, which is a pretty nice thing they made. Um, this enables you to enhance the game on Vita 
which is nice as well. Continue. Now I said 300 I would say, but it's only 170. But that's not taken into account all the time I've spent on um, Monster Hunter Freedom and Monster Hunter Freedom 2. So, three to 400 hours. Cool. One thing you'll notice is the loading times have improved drastically, which is nice as well. Especially if you had it on UMD. Okay, so here we are. Now, Vita optimization. I'm gonna go take a quest if I can. Um, because they made a bit of tweaks on the Vita version. Come on, get that hairy hand out of the way. Gonna go take a quest. Um, you also notice that the colors have improved as well. Now I've got a a PS uh, 2004 version and the colors aren't so great but in this they are. Take a quest. Yeah, gathering is fine. Normally not, but in this case it is. Depart. Okay, so here we are. This is how it looks. It's probably hard to tell on an iPhone camera, but this is how it looks. Now, one of the great improvements is the dual analog stick. Yay! For the win. If you hold your finger on the screen, with your menu, and there's a few things you can tick off. There's Billionaire filtering, right stick, camera, and color space. Now, I don't really notice anything different if I press uh, any of these um, in game so probably does something I don't know but the most important thing is the right stick option yay you can map your right stick which is the um, analog stick over here to the camera so now this button works here which means that go back go back I can control my camera with the stick. Fantastic. Great improvement. Okay. So now everything works. Um if you kept your PSP you can even invite a friend and play and well just happy hunting and have fun.